guys, today I'm going to show you how to upgrade the CD-DVD drive in a Toshiba satellite laptop to a Blu-ray drive. I did do a previous video on this. The laptop that I used in that video was an Acer Aspire, so today I'm going to show you guys how to do that in a Toshiba satellite. Now you're probably wondering why I'm on my computer right now, and the reason why is I just wanted to show you guys that I do actually have a CD-DVD drive in it at the moment. So I'm just going to go into the control panel, and I'm going to go to Hardware and Sound, and then Device Manager. Now, as you can see right here, it says DVD slash CD-ROM drives. If I click on this arrow right here, there's a drop-down list, and this is the CD-DVD drive that I currently have in my computer. As you can see, it says CD-DVD. Before I start, you're going to need the Blu-ray drive that you want to put in the computer. So here's my Blu-ray drive here. As you can see, it says DVD and Blu-ray. And you're going to need a screwdriver. Now, I actually have a professional toolkit right here for electronics. And I got this off Amazon for under $13. So I thought that was a pretty good price. You're going to need an end that looks like that. The first thing you want to do is set the laptop in front of you. Next, you want to take out the battery. Set that aside for now. Now to take out the CD DVD drive, there should only be one screw in the center holding it in place. So it'd be somewhere around here. You can't actually see that screw on this laptop, but we actually have to take this panel off first. To do that, we're just going to remove this one screw here. And we're just going to set the screw aside for now. Now we're going to take this panel off. And set that aside as well. That's what the laptop looks like under that bottom panel. Now, under this panel, there's a screw right here. It's probably a bit hard to see, but there is a screw there. And we're gonna take that screw out. And we're gonna set that aside as well. As you can see, I've turned the laptop so that now the CD DVD drive is facing in front of me. And right now I have an unbent paper clip in my hand. And what I'm going to use this for is to open the CD DVD drive. On the CD DVD drive, there's actually a little pinhole right here. I'm going to stick the paper clip in here, and it opens. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull the drive out. There we go. I'm going to close it again, but I'm not going to close it all the way. I want to leave it open a bit so that I can get the faceplate off. I'm going to take this little metal part here off of the drive. I'm going to remove the two screws on that. All right, now I'm going to set this metal part here aside. Next, you want to take the face plate off. If you turn it upside down, you can actually see that there's a little spot here. And what you want to do with this tab is you want to push it down and outward at the same time. The easiest way to do this is with a flat edge screwdriver. And I'm just going to push that down. Now I'm going to close the drive all the way. As you can see, the drive I've taken out says DVD writer on it. Next, I'm going to take the faceplate off the Blu-ray drive. I'm going to open the drive first. So I'm going to take my paper clip again. Now I'm going to flip the drive upside down again. As you can see, there's a tab here holding the faceplate in place. We want to push that down and out. And now I just want to pull the faceplate right off. Gently, so that none of the tabs break. I'm going to close the drive again. Now I'm going to take the faceplate that I took off of my laptop and I'm going to put that on the Blu-ray drive. So make sure you hold it the right way. You want to make sure that everything lines up. And then once everything's lined up, you just want to snap it in place. Now we're going to take this little metal part again and we're going to put it on the end of the drive. So as you can see, there's two screw holes right here and that's where we're going to put the metal plate. So you want to make sure that this lip here is facing the bottom of the drive. So once you get the first screw in, it's a lot easier. All right, now the Blu-ray drive is ready to go on the laptop. We've got the face plate on it and we've got that metal plate on it. Next, you want to flip the drive upside down and we're just going to slide the drive into the laptop. Make sure it's all the way in, and when it's all the way in, you can tell because you'll see the metal plate right there. Next, we're going to put the screw back in, and we're going to put the back panel on the laptop. Now, 
You want to make sure it snaps in place. So now the panel's back in place, and we're going to put the screw back in to hold the panel in place. Now all we have left to do is put the battery back in. I just want to show you guys that I do actually have a Blu-ray drive in this. So once again, I'm going to go into the control panel. I'm going to go to hardware and sound, and then device manager. Once again, I'm going to go to DVD, CD, ROM drives. As you can see, it now says BD MLT. All right, now we've got the drive in place, but there is one more thing we have to do. The Blu-ray drive that I purchased, um, it didn't actually come with any software to play Blu-rays, so I do have to download a program to do that. For now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to download a free trial of Power DVD 14. So I'm going to open up my web browser, and I'm going to go to Google, and then type in Power DVD 14. I'm going to click on the link that says Power DVD 14 Ultra Free Trial Download Cyberlink. So as you can see here, it says Free Trial. Now with the free trial, you get 30 days. After those 30 days, you can purchase the program if you want to do that. Another thing you can do as well, though, is keep downloading a free trial every 30 days if you don't actually want to purchase the program. So I'm going to uncheck Subscribe to Cyberlink Newsletter, and I'm going to click on Download. Now once that's downloaded, I'm going to double click on it. Once you open the download, as you can see right here, it says include Norton products, internet security and security scan. You want to make sure that you uncheck that, unless of course you want those programs as well. So I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that, and I'm going to click on start. Alright, once that's downloaded, it will ask you if you'd like to install it. Once you click on yes, it'll go into this screen. It says welcome to the Power DVD installation. So I'm going to click on next. Now here's the license agreement and I'm going to click on yes, I accept. Now that the installation is complete, I'm going to click on launch Power DVD. Now in this window, you can register the product. For now, I'm just going to click on Skip Registration. Alright, so here's the program. As you can see right now, it says BD slash DVD movie, and it says BD dash RE drive. So that's the D drive, which is my Blu-ray drive. I'm going to go ahead and put a Blu-ray movie in my computer. As you can see, once I do that, it shows me some information about the movie, and I'm going to click on Play. As you can see, now the Blu-ray starts to play on my computer. Alright, so that's how you upgrade a Toshiba satellite laptop from a CD DVD drive to a Blu-ray drive. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in my next video.